We like to underestimate our profits and overestimate our expenses. So we have a lot of wiggle room. Now you're just the average man. So here's the deal. Your, your daily, your, your monthly enemy. Okay. Your monthly enemy is your, and we're going to, we're going to calculate this first, right? And we're going to take the number. So your monthly enemy is your life overhead, okay? So your life overhead. Now, this is your rent, okay? So let's just let's just do some some examples. Let's say you're bachelor and you're living pretty decent life. Let's say you live in like middle class, upper middle class life. So let's just say your rent is let's go seventeen hundred. Okay. Your electricity is. One fifty. Your water is fifty. Okay. Your internet is also 50 your oh my god if you have a car payment rest in peace your car payment let's say that's 350 okay your insurance Let's say that's 200, All right? Yeah, no more goddamn car payments. Agreed. Agreed. Um, Your cell is 100. Okay. Jacob with the 520 car payment. Rest in peace. Get rid of that fucking car. Your water is 200, dude. What are you fucking sh- showering an elephant every day? Rent, electricity, H2O, internet, car payment, insurance, cell phone, right? And then um, I feel like I'm missing shit. Oh, yeah, gas. Rest in peace. Ever since fucking Joe Biden got in office, gas prices are up. <laughs> you Fucking idiots that voted for him suck a dick and suffer, suffer, fucking suffer, suffer, suffer. I love it. Gas is probably like a hundred dollars a week, right? So that's like four hundred bucks. Suffer, good, right? And then uh, here we'll do food. About 150 a week, so 600, yeah? And then this is just, this is just to live. This is just to stay alive, okay? Now, some of you guys are doing it for a lot cheaper, but just for demonstration purposes, right? So... Let's do, we have 1,700 plus 150 plus 50 
plus 600 plus 50 plus 350 plus 200 plus 100 plus 400. Okay. <clears throat> Now, that puts you at $3,600 a month just to stay alive, okay? So your life overhead is $3,600. And this is, this is not including entertainment, going out, dates, whatever. This is thirty six hundred a month just to keep the fucking, just to keep the lights on. Okay. Slouching over too much into this. S snug up to the mic here. Okay. So. So, what's the calculator? So, 3,600 times 12. So, if you are living this kind of life, you need $43,000 a year just to stay alive. This doesn't even include your fund, right? So, now, let's say your entertainment for the month We'll just put this here, entertainment. You spend a thousand dollars a month. Two fifty a week, which is really fuck all. Dates, whatever. Okay. So let's bump that up. Forty six hundred a month, okay. So you need fifty five thousand dollars just to keep your head alive on the year. So forty six hundred and then slash we'll just let's round it up, say fifty six K. Just to exist and have fun. Okay. Yeah. Well, the entertainment will keep, will factor into like gym, you know, dates with hoes. What are you know all that? Okay. So most of you, right? This is like pretty much the average, the average middle class, upper middle class guy, right? So you make about 60K and you're basically skirting by after taxes, whatever. You're skirting by, okay? So let's keep that number there. We've broken that down. So your life overhead, 4,600, 56K. So let's go back to here. So how am I going to structure this? Let's put this at the bottom here, this little area. Okay. Uh, actually, no, let's put up here. So we'll put your overhead. Let's 
And you don't have to live in that seventeen hundred dollar a month place. I mean, that I mean, I'm sure people paying a lot less rent. I'm when I when I was coming up, right, and like getting my finances right and and building it, I would always over calculate the amount of expenses it would take me, and I would always under calculate the amount of profits I'd be bringing in, so I could practically prepare for a worst case scenario at all times, right? Some of you guys are not paying $1,700 a month in rent. Ty type your rent in the chat. Let me see what you guys are paying. Type your rent in the chat. Let me just get an idea as well because I, I don't want to be like too disconnected from you guys. But we're just going to assume that the monthly overhead, living good, feeling good like I should. Slash. 50, oh, this is terrible. Can't even read that. Fifty six k okay. Okay, let me read, I'm going to read some of the rent here. 12, 15, 1,600, 370 bucks, good for you. Uh, 1,500. 1500 San Francisco, I guess, SFR or South France. I don't know. Zero, 1225, 500. Ryan Baker, 1263. Crypto Nacho, 1000. Good. Dev C, 1600. P Dubs, 400. Damn, good for you, bro. Donald Widermars is 3000. Sergio, 150 in Mexico. Nice. Benjamin, 965, 825, 1170. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Good, good. So this is not too out of touch for most of you guys. 300, but I'm 22. It's okay. Keep your head up. 1,200 all bills paid. Fantastic, Dax. Dax, you better, Dax I'm going to beat your fucking ass if you're not successful in one year. I'm going to go to Texas and beat your ass with a baseball bat. I'm going to break you down. 1,200 all bills paid. You have nothing but life ahead of you ready to kick ass. Come on. And just so you guys know, Dax and I have been friends for many years, so I could talk to him like that. <laughs> Mortgage three thousand dollars a month. Jesus Christ. Jared hidden twenty six hundred. Jesus. Christ. Well, you have a family, but good lord, you better fucking work your ass off. Keep those bills on. Keep those lights on. Okay, good enough. Good enough. Good. 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 All right. Good. Yeah, taxes are income killer. Well, you live in. Fucking state. What can I say? Get out of the Democrat states, guys. They're fucking shitholes. They're all shitholes. Seventeen hundred for all bills. Stuff it good. Okay, good. Yeah, no, you guys are actually all doing really good. Good, good, good. I really want to over exaggerate the expenses to give you more hope. All right. So, so that's fifty six k a a month, right? Or excuse me, fifty six k a year. So here's the deal, right? So typically, revenue one, okay, this covers overhead. Okay, and then revenue two covers the get ahead fund. That's what I call it. Get ahead fund. Okay, and yeah, I know I don't have like sp fancy spreadsheets and all that shit. This is me just talking to the average man, dude. Despite like you know the baller place and all the shit that I got going on, I'm just like you guys. I am just like you. I am a fucking simpleton, man. I am a super simpleton. All right. So 
Yes, Christian. Just make sure you put paying an Ethereum dash MLD in the subject of the email. Montreal is a shithole right now. No, Canada is a shithole. Canada is a shithole. Got it. Good. So, um, we have to do the get ahead fund. And that is typically, so the get ahead fund is typically, uh, where can I write? I want to structure this onto the screen well. Okay, this is one. Savings. Now, let's talk about savings, right? Look, guys. Savings are not for fucking savings, okay? Savings is, is, is a two-part game, okay? First of all, every one of you guys should be shooting for $10,000 in savings, okay? I don't care what the fuck if it takes you a year, a month, an hour, whatever, okay? But you feel better psychologically when you have money in the bank, okay? When you have a $10,000, um, you know, budget, okay? Um... My phone is lighting up right now. Everybody that I know is like, what's going on with the markets? What's going on? What's happening? Ah. You know? Look at this. The phone is lighting up. Look at this. Literally. Okay. Hilarious. I can't even focus right now. So many people are fucking. My phone is like blowing up, dude. I'm like a dirty thought with a fucking Snapchat blowing up three o'clock in the morning in your bed while she's lying to you saying she's faithful. Um, you know, 10K in the bank is going to give you a little bit of a little bit of mental security, all right? It's going to give you a little bit of peace of mind, okay? It's going to make you feel good about yourself, your situation, your life. Um, just give you a little, <sighs> okay? Now, more importantly... Savings are for you to use that money to get ahead financially. So, for example, let's say you've been saving. Let's say you're 30. All right, you've been saving since you started working at 23. And over the seven years, you've been able to, let's just drop the number. Let's just say you've been able to save $5,000 a year because you're a fucking idiot. And um, now you are 30. Seven times five, so you have three. So you have thirty-five thousand dollars, right? Okay, you have thirty-five thousand. And let's say you're like, you know what? I want to, want to do this crypto thing. I read it's a bull. I read it's a bull market. So you got the thirty-five thousand. So yeah, I'm gonna buy the fucking crypto mindset course. Get eight ninety-seven. Now you're down to thirty-four thousand, right? And then Charlie's like, hey, you know, I think some opportunities are coming up with dot or whatever, right? Let's just keep it simplistic. So you're like, you know what? I'll just make it a nice flat thirty thousand. I'll take the four thousand one hundred three dollars. I'll buy dot. 
So let's just go with right now. So let's say you did this, right? Actually, okay. So let's say you're watching us in, in December and you got into crypto, the first crypto mindset around last year and you took the 4,000 and you bought dot 4,130. You bought dot when it was four bucks. Now you have a thousand dot. Okay. So now you got a thousand dot and the market crashed today. As dot is 28 bucks, right? Damn, 30, dude, Ethereum's already back at 3,400. Ha <laughs> ha that's funny. Um, so then times 28 is 28,721 minus your initial investment. 4301 you have $24,420 profit add that back to your 30,000 now your war chest is $54,000 okay see your your get ahead fund is your savings for Financial freedom. Right? And the most, who knows, what's what's 30 seconds on the clock? Let's see how smart everybody is. What's the most traditional way to get rich? Go ahead, put it in the chat. job tyler wang is correct the first one he says real estate uh, om a park car says government job wrong west east says dealing drugs wrong crypto nacho says drugs wrong chick-fil-a franchise uh wrong property correct gold absolutely wrong gold is shit uh 401k no wrong robbing stagecoasters and steam trains <laughs> no Make money off the stupid like me. This is Blue Jay. Well, at least you're honest. Owning a franchise like Subways? No. Okay? No. Real estate. Okay? I know a lot of people are like, don't pay real estate. Don't real estate. But, uh, like, you know, I, basically, I think everybody's just going off of what Cappy said. Right? But, um, that's wrong. Okay? So, uh, is Aikido in the house? Is Aikido in the house? Inner Mountain Aikido. He is there. Uh, hey, Aikido, let me know what how much did your your dupe your fourplex cost you? Give me some of the numbers on that. Harry, if you're in the house, give me a give me a or no, I don't think Josh is in here. Right? Ten unit apartment. No, that would be lit. That would be super lit. I guess he's not paying attention. Okay. So let's just be crazy. Let's say a fourplex cost you. So you have 54 grand in savings now. Let's say a fourplex costs you. Harry, give me ballpark figure for a fourplex. Not New York. Well, I guess New York is your only area of expertise, so fuck that that doesn't really help me out. I would say a fourplex in Florida would cost you like half a million. Okay. Okay. 
And let's say out of that 54,000, you're like, you know what? Fuck it. I got good credit. I'm going to put 30,000 down. So now you're in $470,000 worth of debt. Okay. So here's the deal. Harry, on a $470,000 loan, what would be like your typical mortgage? Give me that number so I can get as much accurate as I can. All right. So the finances works like this. Now you have the the more oops, let's get rid of this color. Now you have the mortgage, right? Okay. And let's say the mortgage on the 470,000 is somebody says 2100 a month roughly. Harry, can you crank your numbers for me? Give me a ballpark figure. Harry is the res the resident hot dude real estate broker. A real estate agent, real estate broker. 1600 a month for 370k loan. All right, so let's just throw it up there. Your mortgage, let's just let's just say it's 2500, okay? So 2500 a month is basically what you need to cover, okay? And then from here, okay? What you need to do is look at your fourplex and your fourplex now has rev one rev two rev three and Rev four. Okay. Right. So this is the rent for each unit. So even if you severely undercharge, okay, because that's what we like to do, we like to under estimate our profits and overestimate our expenses so we have a lot of wiggle room all right so let's say rev one is 1k for this point so you have 1000 for this unit okay you have 1000 for this unit you got 1000 for this unit and Let's say this one's a little bit bigger. You're balling outrageous. Now you have 1500 okay? So these two units here, Rev, Rev 3 and 4, cover the mortgage, right? So we'll put this here. We'll put this here. Okay. And now these two are giving you your revenue to stream is plus 2000 a month. Okay. Right, and that turns out to be twenty four. So here we go. I'll just do the math for you guys at home. Two thousand times twelve, twenty four thousand. Extra money a year. Okay, and that's assuming you just have two revenue streams. You got it. Wouldn't a parking lot be a better investment or a storage facility? Depends on the person. Okay, it should be depending on your in-person. 
it just depends on the individual. But you understand this is like, this is just like a generic plan. Okay. And this is assuming this guy has the 56 K and then we're, we're assuming. Okay. Now here's the thing. We're, we're giving this guy a rough case scenario. So we're assuming he has, he makes 60,000 a year and he's 30. So he basically squandered his fucking life. And he's now 30, and he's making only $60,000 a year, right? And so he's just barely getting ahead, not even, not bar- barely making it by with Revenue Stream 1, okay? Do you see what I'm saying? Now, $2,000 a month, okay? Let's say this guy, I'm going to call him Johnny Average. So Johnny Average now decides that Revenue Stream 2 pulls him in $24,000 extra dollars. A year. Let's say. Let's talk about dates, right? Because we're talking about how to structure your passive income to get you more chicks and just kind of structure your life, right? Each date on average is going to cost you about. Let's pump it up. Let's say each date costs you 75 bucks. And you're going on. Two dates a week. This is just to build up the bangs, right? So times four is $600 a month in dates. And let's say Johnny Average spends a whole year just trying to get some pussy sorted out, okay? So now you got 600 times 12. $7,200 $7,200 minus from the $24,000 profit, you're still at a plus, uh, how do I get rid of this? Oh, God. You're still at a positive 16800 okay? Tyler says, just take a girl to the sunset and grab a $10 deli sandwich. I like your style, Tyler. I like you so much. It's true. I'm just, like I said, again, I'm over-calculating expenses and under-calculating profits to, to, to generate a situation that is, that is, you know, not necessarily stacked in the guy's favor, but we still make it work. Any, any other excess, like any other excess um, success that comes with this is just going to be icing on the cake, right? So now, Johnny, Johnny B. Average... So now he has a $16,000 surplus per year, that, and he's saving it, right? So let's say this is age 30. He, he, lay, he lays the foundation for this, right? So now he's 31. He's got $16,800 in the bank, okay? And he hears about, he hears about cryptocurrency, and he says, oh, you know what? I'm Because listen. You know what blows my mind?